What's up YouTube, it's your boy Mike here with People's Choice Gaming and today in Hearthstone we're going to take a look at a, uh, a deck that you're probably seeing a lot. I made some improvements on it and I'll tell you what those are. This is going to be a Hunter Guide aggro deck. Ever since Unleashed the Hounds got changed in the last patch and it's now good again, we've, start, we've started to see a lot of Hunter aggro decks and uh, they're pretty annoying <laughs> and they're pretty cheap to make so I thought I would... Uh, showcase one just to show you how they work so let's talk about the combos first well first let's talk about what i changed into the deck there was two lepronomes when i looked the deck up there's two lepronomes i took one out um two arcane golems i took one out and i took out a couple wargans which is a 2-1 uh stealthed creature now the reason i did all this is because if you didn't get like the just the right hand or they started getting taunts out and you and you and you couldn't kill them quick enough basically this deck could really get stalled in its tracks because basically with this deck all you do is go to the face you have to kill them fairly quickly and you look for your combos so the changes i made were adding an iron beak owl to silence an early taunt also and i took out an arcane golem you know two organs and a lepronome Added an Iron Beak Owl. Now, on budget, you could add another Iron Beak Owl. But I added a Tink Master for taunt removal. Plus, it can also, you know, take a bigger creature down or a smaller creature. So, I like the Tink Master. But the only legendary you really have to have is Leroy Jenkins. He's very important in the deck and you need to have him. But it's still, you know, a pretty budget deck. One legendary. And if you're into aggro decks, Leroy Jenkins is the first legendary you want to make regardless. Now... What else? I added a Starving Buzzard in because it combos up really well with Unleash the Hounds. You end up drawing a bunch of cards. And like I said, I've ran out of cards a lot with this deck because you just go to the face and, uh, you know, they end up killing your minions off. Or if you get a board wipe, that's pretty bad. And I also added two Animal Companions because instead of a charge creature that I do damage with and then they kill it, at least with the Animal Companion, I either get a 4-2 Huffer, which is a good charge, or I get a Leoc, which is a 2-4, which buffs all my other minions, which could be good with Unleash the Hounds too. Or I get a 4-4 Taunt, which can slow them down so I can get more cards in my hand, and um, it just helps out the way, with the way this deck is. So, two Animal Companions, Starving Buzzards, some Silence for removal, some more removal, and it just works much better. And basically with this deck, you just go to the face, set your combos up. So Eagle Horn Bell, you want to combo that up with your secrets so they get more durability. Explosive Trap is also nice for a board, uh, little board uh, clear in the beginning. And also, you got Misdirection, which that just saves damage on you, giving you more, giving you more time you know, to kill them since you're pretty much just going to the face, like I said. And you can have a lot of damage done to them if it, uh, if they end up hitting themselves. And you all should know how Unleash the Hounds works. If they got three, four minions on board, you throw this out and it spawns four 1-1 one, one Hounds with charge. And then you throw your Timberwolf with it. Now you have four uh, two ones. So that's eight damage. And if you put a Leroy out in conjunction with all that, you now got six damage on your Leroy, and then two one one whelps on their side, which gives you two more uh, two more hounds, which is four more damage because of our Timberwolf, and you can do low twenties, mid twenties in one turn, and then they have to deal with all your uh, hounds, or you're gonna kill them next turn regardless. Other than that, Starving Buzzard, you know, use that in the best ability, you know, with Unleash the Hounds or with a couple beasts to get more cards. And you pretty much just go to the face, kill Command of the Face, or if you have to use it on a bigger creature. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a real straightforward, um, and you got two trackings to try to get your Timberwolf Unleash the Hounds combo. So it's a really fun deck to play with. Um, it's pretty much, a, it's kind of an asshole deck. Because it's a little cheap and you just go to the face. Um, it's not the most consistent deck. If you start playing in ranked and you start running into Druid control decks, which you will, because that's huge right now. Druids um, are really good right now. Uh, you can get stopped dead in your tracks. 
if you don't get your silences and they get too many taunts on board and you don't get the right cards. So it's not the most consistent, but it, it can be pretty lethal most of the time and it's pretty fun. So let's go ahead and jump into a couple games and check the deck out in action. All right, so first match up here, I'm against a Shaman. I got a couple quick games to show you. I sped it up so it'll go much quicker because when I'm, when I'm playing, I'm usually uh, watching TV. <laughs> so sometimes I'll take a little while in turns. Plus, this game actually went kind of long. That's another reason why I wanted to show it because it was a longer game and I get a nasty taunt about five, six turns in. Now this is this was with the original deck that was um, that was posted up that everyone was playing with, two arcane golems, two leper gnomes. The next game I'll show you the one where I added the silence and the tink master, and luckily at the end I get enough damage to take out a huge taunt he has. And you know if I wouldn't have had it I would have been in some trouble. So that's why the improvements that I made I much you know I like much more. So right here is pretty straightforward. He's got a little taunt out. We'll take it out with Arcane Shot. And then I think I go to the face with Arcane Golem. Yeah. And then I save the next Arcane Golem because I don't want to give him that much mana right away. However, he's pretty up on mana, so it might not have been that big of a deal, but... That's another, I like having one Arcane Golem in the deck, and then just more silences to help the deck out with taunts. Because it doesn't need, you know, that much charge creatures, and giving one uh, Mana Crystal to the other guy, I mean, that can really hurt you. So right here, I just throw up a Misdirection. I figured he wasn't going to attack me to the face that turn anyways. So just in case I got my bow, I was just getting the misdirection out ahead of time. So I can use my mana wisely. Don't really have any plays, so I'll just throw out an engineer and get a get a card. Now, the engineer's in there mainly for the card draw. Because originally the deck didn't have the uh, the beast card that summons you card or gives you cards whenever you uh, lay another beast down. So right here, I decided to pass the turn. I could have played Unleash the Hounds, but I decided to go ahead and take that damage because I'm still really up. Now he knows it's Misdirection, so he didn't attack with his big creature. And he decides to... Uh, that was a little dumb on his part. He shouldn't have done that just in case I had Unleash the Hounds, especially since he has a decent bit of cards anyways. He really shouldn't have done that. Now, a lot of the reason I'm showing the clip of this game is because I want to show you Unleash the Hounds. Just how nasty it is <laughs> when you got that many enemy minions. So I do a kill command, and only one Unleash the Hounds to kill his taunt, and then to the face. He thinks he's going to be alright here. He gets the Lightning Storm on me, kills all them, gets three health back. But it's, it's not going to help. It's not going to be nearly enough. Because half... I think more than half your deck is charge creatures and little buffs, you know. And that's game. Murloc, Abuse of Sergeant. I could have used my Hero Pyre too. Alright, the next game here is with... I think it's against a... or it's against another Hunter. And it's it's with my changes. Taking out one Leper Gnome. Adding in a Iron Beak Owl, taking out one Arcane Golem, taking out both Worgens. And if you don't have Tick Master, just uh, get another Owl in there, because you're really going to need the Silences. You can't waste all your creatures trying to take out one of their big taunts. It's going to set you back. This deck's not made to go really long. It's got to kill pretty quickly. So I'm getting a lot of value here. I just did 6 damage. And when the Lepernome dies, that's going to be two more damage. That's eight total damage. And I still get to attack. Get the Wolf Rider to attack too, so. He gets out of Tostingo, but it's no big deal. Because I got my Iron Beak out. And I still have my Tink Master in the deck. 
So I go ahead and decide to use that now. Because I got him low enough that I'm going for the W now. I see that taunt's no big deal to me. I have enough minions on board. And remember, we got the kill commands in the deck too if you need to take out a taunt. I forget what I do here. Yeah, I do another Unleash the Hounds. Oh. I take both my first two, two ones into his 5-4. Drop a Timberwolf. And I think that's the W. Yep, that's the W. Alright guys, hope you uh, enjoyed the guide. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure to check out my Twitch. Link's in the description. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.